Welcome to the Poetry of Light. I'm John Atkins, uh, the resonant poet here. Um, I just want to uh, basically introduce you to um, what it's like to be a poet and how to write a quick poem. So let's get started. Uh, there's basically two types of poetry. One which is really kind of strict rhyming scheme, a pattern, a shape. Um, I prefer the more stream of consciousness type of poetry, which is free flowing and uh, which doesn't involve a rhyming scheme. And one of the simplest poems that you can write is a, a Japanese haiku. So a Japanese haiku is a three line, one stanza, one paragraph poem with five stresses on the first line, seven on the second, and five on the last line. And you can add another two lines to make it into a tanker, which is the same, but just added two extra lines of seven stresses each. Now, the important thing about this type of poetry, as I mentioned before, is a kind of twist to it. So you've all probably seen Shakespearean sonnet, probably done that at school. Um, Shakespearean probably is the most uh, common one, iambic pentameter, di da di da di da di da blah blah blah. Um, and the last two lines rhyme and it's called a rhyming couplet and that delivers like a, 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 another twist to everything. Well, in a tanker it, it's midway, it's uh, a definite twist, it's almost like, um, well it's a metaphor, it's sort of twisted around so that you look at something slightly differently um, from a different angle, uh, which is, you know, quite interesting, challenging, you know, but it does really uh, enable you to, to, to write a little bit extra. And also you've got the title as well. You can add a little extra uh, dimension to the, to the meaning by, by a title. So you can add all these different nuances and layers to... Uh, to An example of, of the of the haiku, which is um, what well, a tanker basically, which I've written. I was inspired by um, when I took my boots off after a, a walk. I just checked there was no, uh, I hadn't stepped in any excrement or anything like that. And um, I was just thinking about how you know in, in life um, you can step in in something pretty messy um, without knowing or, or realizing at the time, or you you can acknowledge something and try and sidestep it or avoid it uh, but you know lessons in life um, as I have the privilege of looking back at a, a few more years um, from my youth and uh, I've realized that sometimes that to go forward in life to achieve what you really want your goals your ambitions you sometimes have to make compromises you have to take a few steps back maybe or sideways or whatever and uh, in so doing, uh, compromises all, always have their consequences. Um, so this is a poem that I wrote um, about such such a thing. Uh, inspiration. Um, I, I wrote it um, sort of on, on the basis of having a little uh, drink of my um, homemade uh, cider cum wine, a small, well, sort of moderate glass of that, and uh, it kind of all flowed within about 15 minutes. Uh, so just to show you that you can write something uh, and uh, a little snippet like a bit of a diary um, entry or something like that uh, but uh, obviously if, you, if <laughs> you can call it a poem but you can't call yourself a poet uh, until you've actually got yourself published uh, but, but that's the sort of I'll just read it to you just to give you an idea okay um, what, what can be achieved okay so uh, the poem's uh, entitled Soul Searching you can't avoid stepping on life's detritus. Compromise always carries a distinct stench of regret. So there it is, you know, uh, a short uh, statement, uh, sort of a, a little entry in your diary. Uh, but it's always important to remember that, you know, life, you know, your life is basically only what you can remember you know what, what your what your um, memories are 
you know, that's what makes you human. That's what makes. But anyway, you guys, um, just just like and subscribe there, and we'll go from here and see how it goes. Okay, bye now. Take care.